Hey all, hope you are good. Welcome to my channel, Sri Vallabhbhad. In today's video, I am going to show how we can execute a pipeline inside another pipeline in Azure Data Factory. So let's begin. So in my previous video, I have created a data flow, okay, which takes two data set as source, and then we perform transformation on top of it, and then we store in sinks, okay. So I've, for this, I have used the data flow activity to run the transformation. Now, let's create another pipeline. Okay, to check whether both these uh, source files are present or not. So, for that, I'm using uh, validation activity. So, this is uh, for first data set. Similarly, I will check uh, for second data set. Okay. So now let's debug to check what output it gives. Okay, you can even use uh, lookup uh, to check uh, uh, to check if all the files is present in blob storage or not. Okay, so just for demo purposes, I'm using like this. Okay, let's check what's the output of validation one and validation two. So it got succeeded. So it shows exist true here also so exist true so let's go inside input okay now let's go inside source and you can see these are two csv present when we go inside a data sets also okay you can see this was the path okay now let's do one thing use uh, if else if condition Okay, and then let's join these two. Okay, let's go. Click on activity. And click on add dynamic content. So, uh, we want to do, says that output of each activity, validation activity, should be true. This means output of both these activity should be true. And its output is stored inside the variable exist. Okay, <coughs> so click on add dynamic content, search for equals, okay, equals, uh, inside equal, we want output of validation one dot output dot exist should be equal to true and so we will use here and okay similarly here also equals or uh, let me copy the same here here comes the validation too so what i am doing i am checking the output of act, uh, well, uh, activity validation one is true and output of activity validation 2 is also true and we are checking with and condition so click on ok so if these two condition matches okay it will go inside true activity so here we will use execute pipeline so just copy drag and drop paste here so what we'll do if these my condition will uh, will be true I will execute my data flow pipeline so click here click on setting and click on agent data processing pipeline okay and then move back and inside false let's use wait activity okay now let's run our pipeline to check our pipeline flow works correct or it's wrong okay as you can see validation 1 and validation 2 uh, gives output 
true so it goes inside if condition with true activity execute pipeline one so the pipeline is still been run okay let's face wait for the execution to complete and the uh, pipeline run is execution now let's go inside my storage account to check uh, the output is being created at this path on input inside input container inside output folder uh, bangalore agents.csv and similarly inside output one folder other state okay let's go inside output you can see our output is been created okay similarly let's go inside output one and you can see the file is been created so in this video i've shown how we can execute a pipeline inside another pipeline in azure data factory so hope you enjoyed the video kindly like and subscribe to my channel have a nice day